Michael Case. I hope I'm doing that. Yes, yes Peter, Tim, and I That's also was down at the uh, beach one Saturday morning and was forced to park at the bottom of the hill because the top of the hill was all covered by these people who were selling all their wares for the art fest. And it was very nice, and I looked at a couple of them, and I said, oh, they're making money, uh, all the stuff they sell, yeah. A uh, promoter's making money for uh, promoting this thing. Uh, I wonder how much money Lake Worth is making. After all, they took a prime spot up there for parking, uh, so that should bring us at least $4 an hour for each one of those stands. Uh, I asked the parking rec uh, representative how they handled the parking because they had all their cars on these. Well, there are not too many of them. I said, that's half the crowds that are here. But look for those people because it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Nobody's here yet. Uh, and he said, no, most of them are over at the uh, boat ramp. I said, okay, so on the way home I stopped at the boat ramp and I saw all their trailers and their uh, RVs and all of those cars parked over there. And of course they didn't pay either. So my question to you is, I hope everybody over there made money, but the city has got to make money. How much did we make and did we cover our expenses that we would have gotten from the people had they not been there? I think this is very important that we know this and that they win the future. If we're going to take away our prime spot, these people are going to have to pay for it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Tim. Michael, I'm sorry I couldn't read. Is it Case? Or case? Okay. In my case, um, 11 South C Street. I was at Bryant Park the other night and um, found a set of keys in the grass and I'm standing by the stage. Sir, we you know what? Try the bigger microphone, maybe. That one? Yeah. And <laughs> Did I get my time reset? <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, I was in Bryant Park and I found a set of keys in the grass and I tried to walk and it in the car, so I called the police. And I'm coming on the wrong park because I forgot the name and I'm not going to switch it off. Um, anyway, the, we had the new 100 year emblem on the stage, but there's nowhere where it said Bryant Park. In, or the back of the benches, and I started thinking, well, we're supposed to probably have only put billions because it is a big park. And I found a sign eventually about a corner, it's about this big. <coughs> it could be a lot bigger. It's a nice park. Um, but there could be more signage, probably more parks. Uh, same people you know, that I put in my other you know, columns, and we don't even know where they are for whatever reason. Anyway, thought I'd mention it. It happened to me, and I've been here eight years. <laughs> so, um, and then, um, actually I did mention the arrows on the pavement last time I was here. Um, what was the other one I wrote on that one? To a sign? Uh, the concrete raised pieces. Oh, this you one of the trees? Mm -hmm. uh, they're starting to get pushed up by the roots. Some of them are like three high. And I was just thinking maybe we just losing it on the west side here on Lake Avenue. Big, heavy, using somewhere where they could be beneficial because the roots are just putting them up there where now they're a trip hazard, big trip hazard. Um, the burnt house is South B and First Avenue South. I don't know where we're going, but it's caught on fire twice. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Should have been knocked down five years ago. It has been two minutes. Okay, panhandling on the F. Kind of embarrassing and irritating, and it's not going to do us much good. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Stephanie Zachary, followed by Barbara Jean Weber. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie Zachary. I work for Congresswoman Lois Frankel. I'm the new Palm Beach County Outreach Coordinator. And I just wanted to introduce myself to the City Commission and let everyone know I left my cards with City Clerk Lopez. And I just wanted to let you all know that if you ever need help from our office for anything, um, any issues that people are raising, that any federal issues that you want us to know about, or if there's any events you want the congresswoman to know about, then please feel free to get in touch with me. I represent her all over Palm Beach County, so I'll be happy to help you with anything that you can help you with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Barbara Jean? Good evening. 
We missed you. It's been too long. I don't like this one so much. <laughs> um, the Veterans Parade was extraordinary and so touching and so beautiful, as was your graciousness, Mayor, to Jeff Clemens. You know, you can print as much material as you want. You can raise money for your campaigns. You can do whatever. You can go broke. But to be a stand-up person is far better than a million pieces of mail that you pay for. And it was a fabulous example for our city, both Mr. Clemens and the mayor's graciousness. Um, I want to do, see if you can entertain an idea of doing something with the storefronts that are not covered or that have black paper on them. Please go to Plaza Del Mar in Manawapan the next time you're that way and look at the windows. The buildings are empty and they've got something pretty in the window. We need you to do something. There are tons of empty buildings. You have the power to pass an ordinance. It can be pretty curtains. It can be a faux display in there of some sort. We have to have something. It's pulling down the entire business community. So we need an ordinance. We need something, some kind of fine if this isn't done. A time limit after a building is vacated. Owners have money. If they're not renting, it's because they want more rent than an outrageous figure to start with, primarily. We need to support the businesses, but it's unfair to the businesses who are trying to struggle. So I'd like to see coming up on the agenda, maybe slip it into a workshop, something, some program that we can remedy this problem. It's an eyesore that we see. Thank you. Thank you. Any more cards? No, that was it. That was it. That one? Um, in reference to the storefronts, we have an ordinance. If you, if you look at our code, we have an ordinance. The problem is that it hasn't been followed. And then in addition to that, I know that I believe the CRA was working on a program with, uh, within the arts communities to have certain arts displays. Something, something has been underway. For, from what I know, that I've heard about it maybe the last three months or so, or within the last four months. So there's a couple of things in the works, but I'll find out more information about it, of course. So, because I, I, I know that the ordinance has been in place, it just it hasn't been enforced. I don't think in, in the last five years or six years, from what I know. Well, forgive me if I may. You go through a great deal of trouble to pass these things, a great deal of time and effort on your part. So, where is the difficulty that it isn't being followed? If right. We need to honor your request as our commission. Right. This city. No, I understand. Um, so that was the one thing that I know the storefront program is in the works. Um, uh, Mr. Case, in reference to Bryant Park and signage, is he still here? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, didn't see your hat. Um, yeah, we do a poor job of signage all over the city. We've been trying to remedy that as we start to see signage go up. I mean, you know, it's one thing to have all these beautiful resources and amenities, but not to not tell anybody about it. It's like, we have this in secret. We're not going to tell anybody we have a golf course or we have a beach or, you know, we have a park. Shh. Um, <laughs> So we're doing a, hopefully doing a better job. You're going to see a lot more signage that's tasteful, but also still you know recognizable. So I think the city's already working on that as well. Um, uh, the panhandling situation it goes in in, in 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 droves. It's like all of a sudden, boom! Once it's it's very active, and then it subsides. I know PBSO has a lot to do with that, and then it has been. I've received some complaints lately, just being on the streets. That's starting to pick up right now through this holiday season, and they're getting a little bit more brazen by walking to, to patrons sitting at outdoor seatings in restaurants and walking into establishments in the daytime. So it's Captain Silva; he's he's sitting right back there. So it's starting to get a little bit hairy again in, in regards to that. So it was, it was midnight, and I was out walking the dog. Yeah. And a guy approached me for a quarter, and there were two guys, small and big. Mm -hmm. You want a quarter? It's midnight. Go to sleep. Go wash some windows tomorrow. I told you the guy came up to my dad when he was visiting and asked him for 20 bucks. I said, I said, you've got some really courageous people. He says, in New York, they ask you for a quarter or a dime. Here in South here in Lakewood, they ask you for 20 bucks. <laughs> but, but anyway, but yeah, no, I understand. It's, it's, you know, I know that they're working in 
in waves. But um, the one big thing that, that I think is important to recognize, and I think I mentioned at the last meeting, but we had a sister city meeting. We created the, kind of a, a, a different type of sister city in that working with West Palm Beach and Revere Beach and some other things, because we have a lot of similarities when it comes to things. We've kind of been pushing, you know, some of our, our situations beyond our borders, and then they do something like prostitution, and they have a sting, and they shove it back our way, and, and then, you know, it's, so now we're trying to work together now, and, and also by, by kind of adopting the ordinances that we all have, and the difference so that we're playing by the same rules on each sides of our border, and it's something that I've been really consciously trying to work towards, so we're not just moving it temporarily, that we're actually remedying the situation, so, so things are kind of in the works, and, and as we make progress. Um, I'll definitely report on it, but yeah, it's a challenge, and it's certain, something we're very aware of, unfortunately. Um, can I, anything else, commissioners? Sorry, I never usually get to go on that one. Sorry, I started first. <laughs> and, and you touched on everything I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry, but, but we'll, we'll take it a little bit farther. Um, storefronts, barbagine. Yeah, we do have an ordinance, and maybe city manager. I know that code is going to move forward with um, enforcing some of the uh, seating issues in the downtown. Uh, maybe at the same time they can address. Um, we don't have a lot of storefronts, but the the two storefronts that jump out at the most are, are big, so therefore it looks like we, we most of our stores are all full and or are coming. Um, so maybe we can address both of those at the same time. Uh, signage. Um, yes, Mayor was correct that we're moving forward with the signage. The CRA just uh, put twenty five thousand thousand dollars to signage also so the city and the CRA will be working on how that we can get the biggest bang for our buck um, panhandlers nobody uh, has a problem with panhandlers more than I do having a, a small business and most of the time they they find the front of my store um, for whatever reason uh, again um, the sheriff's department is very good at trying to be there they can't be there at all times um, and uh, they, they are good at call uh, coming right out when you call, and, and that's why I tell people, you know, make the call, you know, you, you, you got to keep doing it. Uh, grades, um, we are aware of the grades. A lot of the grades in the, in the downtown corridor were already picked up. Uh, the city manager and myself and staff actually did a walk of the western side to talk about um, the grades, the trees, the, the, the mulching, the issues on, on what needs to be done. But um, again, there's been neglect there for a long time. Um, and, and we're just trying to figure out what the best way of fixing those problems uh, as quick as possible. So use them somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So. Any other comments? Commissioner Zerby. Thanks, Mayor. Um, City Manager, could we maybe get Terry to get on the agenda sometime? Come give us a little update on it, how things are going over there from her standpoint at the casino. And if, we had the Beach Fest there. How did that go? Give a little update on some of these events and what's kind of coming up. I know we have them in our calendar too, but maybe just give us a little bit more than the little blurb that's there. Sure, we can, we can discuss everything that's happening over A little there presentation now that it's sort of moving along, and I think everybody would like to hear that. Okay, yes? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I, I have only one Should request, and I, I've only seen her working certain times, but if we do that, make sure that there's some way that she can get a lot of credit, because I think she works very hard at making that place work and does a lot of it single-handedly. So. Yeah, no, I think that, I, I want to look at the, what Mr. Tim had talked about the parking situation, though there's got to be a, maybe a better way to do that. Um, I do believe, Mr. Tim, I forgot to write that down, um, I do believe the city did make money on that event, and we need to pull a report on that, um, including the, them paying for the parking areas, the area that they took, as well as using it as part of their facility. Um, so I, I think if we do that, if we have a report on it, can that be part of the meeting so we can talk about that? Um, it was a first of first. I will say that the the level of professionalism in which that show, I mean, there was a lot of people I saw, a lot of tourists from, from outside of the area too. I didn't see you know, a lot of the, the same faces I see and things. There were a lot of, I think, tourists that came in for that show. On Sunday I was there and um, it was very much that way. Many different languages being spoken, I heard. Um, and it was a very well run show. It was a nice class operation and I, I appreciated that. Um, so, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of good things to do. We've got a lot of spending ahead. I know that uh, the city is in the process of, of hiring a, an events person that's going to start a lot of, that's going to really help w with things too. So um, I think good things are on the way. We'll keep you posted. All right, moving on.